Hey, what's up, Kevin? Daniel, buenas noches. Looks like we have Indiana here. Uh, sunny days. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, somebody did ask, uh, was sunny days? Asked if this is the image that we're doing, Mike Tyson. And that is correct. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is I have this sprayed out um, with, I have white base coat, and then I did uh, some purple metallic uh, lime lime purple metallic mixed in clear base coat spray that over the top and then I finish this off with um, clear base coat or actually clear coat so this has been clear coated I'll go ahead and get ready to sand it down with this 600 grit pad and um, this here right here is just uh, printed out with a inkjet printer and I'll go into a little more detail about this uh, a little bit later but um, we'll, we'll end up cutting this out trimming it out and putting it right here in the center uh, we'll be taping out a little bit of a design here using some black base coat, maybe using a little bit of red base coat. Um, and then we'll see how long this takes us, the image transfer, and maybe we'll do some leafing on the edges here um, at the end. But uh, we'll check that out. We'll, we'll go ahead and get started here. Let's put this off to the side. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions while we're doing this. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna start off with some 600 grit. Killer Copper Corn from Texas is here. What's up, man? Appreciate it. Darren. Is that Darren? Sacramento. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. All right. I'm just getting this scuffed down. That way we have uh, something to stick to you here. So we've got Larry from Iowa. What's up, guys? All right, we just about got this. All right, we got it all scuffed down. I take some glass cleaner. So I'm gonna, okay, everything's all scuffed down, cleaned up with glass cleaner. I got some uh, eighth inch lime line here. Get a hold of the edge. There we go. All right, so back to the image. Uh, I'm going to end up trimming this out. This is just an eight and a half by 11 that I printed out with an inkjet printer. Um, I'll end up trimming this to fit into the center of this. But first, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of make the lines. And that way we can break off um, what's going to be the image transfer here in the center and what we'll be doing out here uh, on the edges. So uh, hopefully this turns out good. Um, I've kind of thought it out in my head. As far as the white background, usually I don't use a white background. I'll use a black background. So we may encounter a little bit of um, some stuff we got to do as far as blending in that edge. Because we'll, we'll have this clear edge right here. Um, but uh, well, we'll go from there. We'll, we'll figure it out once we get to it. But like I said, usually it's black around it. But his image was so dark, I decided to go with the, with the white background. And maybe we'll airbrush something there. Who knows? There's a lot of stuff we can do once the, the image is actually on there. So, this is Iron Mike. As iron as they come. All right, I'm just going to take the eighth inch. Let me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick down my little hood panel here with some duct tape. We don't move around. There we go. Just 
just going to follow this line around. Around that style line right there. Same thing on this side, just try to match it up. Yeah, it looks all right. We'll go with it. And then I'll just kind of follow a few lines right here. That style line there. Maybe we'll do... Uh, we'll go ahead and leave that. That looks good. I, I think I plan on doing maybe some... Maybe filling that up with black base and then doing some splatter. I don't know. Some blood splatter. We could do that. We could figure out something else to do. Throw an ear in there. <laughs> I knew I was going to hear ear jokes. That was from me. Oh, it was you. Good job. <laughs> I never thought you were that funny. You're so funny. You can get ear chips now. Uh, Mike Tyson sells these chips. I think they're potato chips, but they're shaped like Holyfield's ear. Really? Yeah. The bit off part or the part was left over? Oh, uh, the bit off ear part. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I heard they're delicious. I don't want to eat an ear. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, you could do blood splatter, just a random ear in the corner. Yeah. And trim these edges up right there. Yeah, a white lion or something. I could be used to. White tiger. White lions. Yeah, so actually, uh, like a lion print would be awesome right there. Maybe in the background where it's white. See? Good idea. What do I got going on here? What did I do wrong here? Oh, this one I kind of swooped out. It's a Bengal tiger. Oh, Bengal? That's what it's called. But isn't it white, though? White Bengal? Yeah. You're right. It's white. Yeah. Okay. All right. Looks good. We just have this pretty much... Um, kind of paneled out here we're gonna go with the tyson design image transfer in the center um have no idea what we're gonna do there maybe blood splatter if we fill it in with black we might do that um and the ends of these if we end up doing the bangle in here we may, um maybe we can do it in here too to match it up i don't know we'll see we'll see how this image transfer goes um sometimes it's kind of hit and miss with the transfer um sometimes i get it in the first shot and i'm hoping i do on this one so but i do have it printed out twice just in case something happens we'll be able to at least have two attempts at this um, but uh the surface is flat this should be a lot easier than what i'm used to doing so we should be able to get it on the first attempt hopefully okay a couple questions let's see so, uh joe says have you tried vectoring images with the float decals I was thinking of trying it. Uh, can you say that one more time? Um, have you tried vectoring images with the float decals? Uh, hmm. I would have to know more about that, I think. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, I'm going to trim this 
I'm gonna cut here his ear off a little no, bit. No, don't cut his ear. It ain't his <laughs> ear that gets chewed. Okay, another question. Someone said, "Have you met? Have you met Bad Chad?" Uh, no. I watch his channel sometimes though. And then he said, "Can I use modified linseed oil to thin your pigments?" Hmm. Uh, depends on what clear base coat you're putting it in. Uh, you have to tell me more about that too. I'm not sure. Yeah, you tell me the application, I guess. Uh, let's see. Then someone said, my homie I've never met, but would love to. Can't wait. Hope you and family have a blessed Thanksgiving. And someone asked, are you going to airbrush the face? Airbrush the face? Yeah. Uh, no, we're going to stick this transfer right on there. And then let's see, someone said, any update with when you'll have any more Goldie Spinner tool on Amazon? Um, it's coming real soon. <laughs> we were supposed to have it already. And uh, I'm still waiting for the word back. I guess the lathe was broken. But it will be very soon. I'll post a lot of videos on, um, you'll see all my spin videos come out when those are back available. I'm trying to sell them. And then someone said, he says he likes how that I'm working with you and, and I sound cooler than polar bear's toenails. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I am cool. What you drinking, Ashley? A beer. There you go. We got a beer you countdown a calendar. <laughs> All right. Someone said, um, do you ever cut out images and duplicate them? as in a transferring way? Uh, okay, say that one more time because sometimes I don't listen. Actually, do you, I'm not listening. Do you ever one. cut out images and duplicate them as in transferring the way you do but with airbrush? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll print it out and create a stencil. And uh, I mean, like literally, if I could take a, cut this out into a stencil, we could airbrush this on there. You know, cut out all the darks here, cut out the lips, you know, the, right here, that'd be cut out underneath his cheek or through a dark or his tattoo. And we would just basically, you know, build up the, the texture on that. But yeah, we could uh, on this or not, though, because we're wanting to show how to get these images on there. I'm going to have to cut this a little bit closer right here. Um, it's going to cause us to have to airbrush that pretty close. Someone else said, have you tried rice paper? Uh, I haven't. I feel like the adhesion on that might not be as good, maybe. Someone said they didn't see any Black, Fi Black Friday sales. Did they miss them? <laughs> they were on there. Uh, they were on just on Amazon, though. Pretty much, I think a lot of stuff is, still is on sale on Amazon. The sandpaper. And... Uh, a lot of things I think okay there we go fit that up finally I had to get rid of his ear completely but okay we're gonna go with that we're gonna deal with um, we're gonna end up airbrushing white back into this uh, to get that all to blend in hopefully like I said usually I do black it's pretty easy um, but this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge so but we'll address that when it gets to it but you can see here that we're lined up, lined up, up here, here, we're lined up here, and this image is going to shrink a little bit for some reason um, before we put it on. So I don't know why it does that. It just that's what I noticed on the last one I did. So we're mocked up here. We're going to put this off the side. Someone said that they've seen you do this um, transfers with a white base, but they're wondering if Limeline has a white base, and if not, what do you recommend? For a white base coat um so soon limeline will have a white base coat but you can use speedo coat for the white base on this particular there's two many different methods of transferring the image um you can either use clear water slide decal paper or you can use white water slide decal paper um the uh the method we're using here is the white this is printed on white water slide decal paper so when this comes off 
we're going to lay it straight down once it comes off of the back and we're going to lay it straight down onto the hood panel and it's going to adhere that way um but we do need to spray something over this in order to protect the ink because if we were to lay this straight down into the water once it separates the ink will just wash right away um so we we do need to apply a what i do is i pl apply a clear base coat on this um c considering we're using the white paper i'm using a clear base coat on this to protect the ink but if we were using clear transfer paper we would spray white base coat over this and then once the backing came off it would actually lay on the hood upside down sh showing the the i guess the mirror image of of this uh, so hopefully that makes sense and that ends up being that the white base adheres straight to the uh, sanded clear coat um one thing with that method is when you lay down the white base coat it has to be laid down like super slick like you can't it can't be rough texture or anything like that because it needs to be uh slick kind of like what this surface is really shiny in order for that to adhere to uh, the existing paint or the panel so hopefully that makes sense because if there's if there's some kind of roughness there it's just not going to suck to that and adhere very good because you're relying on not the adhesive this has you're relying on the the, the uh, base coat and the uh substrate that you're laying it on top of to stick together good enough um that you're not going to have any problems so personally i like i do both methods i like this one because i feel like it adheres a little bit better because we're using this the proper way of your, the way you're supposed to be using it is because it does have a little bit of a adhesive on the back side of this once we lay in the glue and um now kind of you kind of see how that happens we're gonna go ahead and, and move on with this and lay down the uh the clear base coat that way we can protect the ink that's over top of this so i'll show you that right now somebody asked where you get the water slide decal paper you can get it on the you can get the water slide decal paper it, it, it you should be able to see the link in the description here um there's my amazon affiliate link you'll see that it's in the art supply section on that amazon link um, or if you're watching on amazon it'll be down on the carousel it's the first one but i think any white water slide decal paper should work Somebody said, uh, Chris said he used six packs of the Limelight Flake to cover a 60 style dune buggy. Oh. He said it sprayed awesome. With yeah, Angel. awesome. I bet it's flaky. Six packs. It's probably blingy. So blingy. sparkly. All right, I'm just going to lay down some paper here. Okay, so I'm going to grab a um, disposable cup here, lid and liner. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what we're going to, we, you can use, use any clear base coat for this or a binder or anything that's clear besides like clear coat. Because clear coat is going to take too long for it to dry. This is clear base coat. This will give us that layer of protection um, to seal up that ink. So when we lay it down in the water, it's not going to just uh you know wash away we don't need much it's pretty thick we'll go ahead and reduce it this is just urethane reducer Someone asked if this is solvent based. Yes. Yeah, you can't use water based with this. Good question. If you use water based, it's going to wash off when we put this in the water because in order for these uh, to detach away from each other, 
which we, that's what we obviously want it to do, um, that you need to soak it in water and the water is just going to wash that away. All right, we're going to hook it up to the one three. go <laughs> uh, left for a minute i forgot my hose i forgot my hose okay not the hose you're thinking nope. hose. all right glad you're back with the hose welcome to the party okay i didn't have a hose hooked up oh this is barely gonna be long enough Chris gave you a twenty dollars super chat. Oh yeah, hell yeah, Chris, appreciate that. He's the one that painted the buggy, and he said, "Yeah, it's blinging with all the flake, blue candy over the top with airbrush panels." Thanks to your guidance. Thank you, appreciate that. All right, so we have the clear base coat. Probably turn the pressure down a little bit. I didn't even start spraying it yet, really. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna spray it. Oh, okay. All right, we'll let that, let's get a little more right here and we'll let that dry. Gonna blow some air on it to get it dry a little faster. Okay, that looks like that's dry, the first coat. I'm gonna put one more coat and it should be enough to be able to protect that ink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Jane. Appreciate that. Uh, super Sean. 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 <laughs> he said that flake is messy. Shane Daniel. Say Sean. I keep saying Shane. Yeah. Appreciate that. Sean, man. He said flake is messy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have sparkle. Yeah, it's not too bad when you're spraying it, though. It's worse when you, when you try to blow it on dry. We have sparkle all throughout our house. All right, looks like that's dry. So we sprayed the clear base coat over that and basically you, you can use any kind of binder or inner coat clear or anything like that solvent based um, that uh, that will you know seal that up. Because like I said, if we, when we put this in the water, which is right here, go ahead. And... Somebody said, how long should I wait for clear coat to dry on? It, if I was using spray can, since I don't have a spray gun, he wants to try it on his bike. 
let's see. So this is on Amazon Live. He said, how long should I wait for clear coat to dry on it if I was using spray can since I don't have a uh, spray gun? Oh, that's a... You, you'll have to read the instructions and then it all depends on the temperature and stuff like that. But um, I would definitely wait a good uh, couple of days, especially with spray paint because it takes longer to dry. But hopefully that answers. Yeah, you want to scuff it down and then you can do your artwork on top of that. Uh, what I did here on the hood, which we'll bring that over here in a second. Actually, we'll do it right now. Bring it back into the picture here. Um, this is sprayed with spray can clear coat right here. Actually, we, I used. Do I have it here? Two K. Yeah. It's sprayed with this two K um, spray clear coat right here. I did I did use a gun to spray the purple, but it is finished off with this car rep. And uh, I did put this under the UV lights because I sprayed it earlier this morning. And I wanted to make sure it was dry for today. I did notice it's still a little tacky, but uh, it's all right. But yeah, wait longer if you're using spray paint. Okay. All right, we're going to get down to it right now. We have, uh, just to go over it one more time, we have a white water slide decal paper. You can get that on Amazon if you can just search up white water slide decal paper eight and a half by 11 or you can check the amazon link down in the description uh, but so this is printed out with inkjet printer which is very important you need to use an inkjet printer and you need to seal it up like we did with some kind of a uh, clear coat um clear base coat you can use clear coat like a, out of a spray can like i showed you but it's just going to take longer for it to dry and i feel like it's just not uh it's not quite as good but you can use it if that's the only thing you got. So uh, hopefully I got enough on there. When I dip this in here, it's not gonna fade that away. And we're gonna go ahead and get ready to transfer it uh, here onto the hood, but. Someone wants to know hot water or cold water is better. Uh, I would use warm water. I just have regular cooler water here that came out of the tap, but I think it's gonna work. It definitely works a lot faster in warm water. I probably wouldn't do hot water because it might end up heating up a little bit of the clear top coat that you have. And then when you go to lay it down, it might start to like ball that up. Cause if you mess with it too much, it ends up coming up. But okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and dip it in there. And eventually it will, the water will get back behind there and it'll release the top layer. If like somebody mentioned before, if this was warm water, it probably would have happened already. You see right there, it's starting to starting to release off the edges right there. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of water. Let's go ahead and get this wet. Usually I have a spray bottle to do that, but this will be fine. Oh, here we go. Almost there. Someone said, just like the old school tattoos. Yes, exactly. And that's what this stuff is. Some of it's thicker than others and it works better. Um, I definitely have liked the, this white brand that I'm using right here. Okay. We got it to release. See how I said it shrinks a little bit? It kind of does, you know? So 
I'll go ahead and put that right about there. Okay, so let's get rid of this water now. We don't need that. Oh, I don't want to step in that. <laughs> All right. Let's get this. Let's get this back over into the center here. All right. So with gloved hands. I'm just going to kind of work from the center and just kind of with my finger, just squeegee that water out from underneath. I'm just going to use just a microfiber cloth to kind of soak up the excess water here that's coming out. Someone said, is a squeegee too much to use? I, I feel like it probably would be. If it's a foam one, maybe not. And then someone said, how do you feel about patterns versus stencils? Uh, I love them. <laughs> He said a lot of guys look down on stencils. Oh, no. No way. A lot of people look down on this. What we're doing here. I think it's just fine. Yeah, I love I love stencils. I love that's how I work. Even if even if I wanted to freehand something, I would still draw it up in, on paper and cut a stencil. Because it's just so much more efficient and you get harder lines and just faster all right we're getting enough water out from underneath that i can feel it's starting to stick because it takes a little bit you can see that it was still kind of shifting around but now i feel like it's finally kind of landed it's starting to to really stick there once i get enough water out here we'll go ahead and i think it'd be a good idea to Maybe give this a little bit of heat to uh, warm up that adhesive that uh, is on the back of the, the layer there. All right, I'm gonna turn this down to like, not too hot. I wanna have maybe like 600 or something.
All right, that's looking pretty good. A little bit right here on the edges. Looking mother effer. Someone said, what clear do you prefer for your customers' projects? um right now i'm using like my own brand of clear coat um but uh i was using finish line before but yeah i'm using limeline brand but it's not quite out yet but i was using finish line before and that stuff was pretty good for the price uh what i'm using now is about the same okay so we'll go ahead and dry up this water up over here Somebody asked if these water slides fade in the long run. Oh, yeah, yeah, they will. Yeah, you got to make sure you top coat them really good. And then uh, you just need to understand what you're dealing with. Like if you're doing it for customers, just let them know that, that you don't want to kind of leave it out in extreme heat for too long. Because it, uh, it all depends on what you're coating it with as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. I know that I kind of overlapped on the tape right here, which is probably could cause us a problem once we go pull in the tape. Um, so if I remember that, I'll go ahead and cut that. But I'll just do it right now. I'm just going to trim that. Mm, yeah, hopefully that works. Okay, that's better. I think we'll be fine there. Didn't want to go ripping that tape off and then it taking the image with it. So I don't see any, um, I mean, there's little bubbles here and there. Still kind of can work them out. Let's see here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and load up my airbrush here. Let's see what we got in there. Somebody's asking if you've ever tried any clear coat products from the candy shop out of Florida. I haven't. We have some black base coat here. A little bit of a wrinkle there. Be fine. All right, I'm gonna take some black base coat.
And I'm just going to go ahead and fill this all the way in. Someone's asking, what's a good airbrush um, set to start, just to start out? I'm using a Neo right here, and that's what I really like to use. And it's a, uh, it's an Iwata Neo. I think it's only seventy bucks. And then someone said, "What printer do you use? And is it toner versus ink versus laser?" Uh, it's a inkjet, so it's ink. And he's asked if it matters. Yes, hundred percent matters. You got to use an inkjet. Is that did I answer that right? Okay. Someone says, can you talk about what all clears you're going to offer? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to offer one clear coat. It's a four to one mixture. Um, and it is going, it's going to be offered in a quart. Um, it's, uh, you know, basically it's not anything that I'm creating. I'm just, it's just a private label of, um, I went, whoa, almost lost the lid there. Um, just went through a lot of different manufacturers and found the uh, clear that was that I thought that was the best for the best price and went through a couple of different companies. I'm still going through one more right now that, uh, yeah, just trying their stuff, see, see if I like it and use it for a while. So I've been using this other clear coat for about six months. Uh, I really like it. I probably that's the one I'm going to stick with. I do have one other I'm going to try out as well. But um, yeah, I'm not really going to launch anything until it's it's good and ready, you know. But yeah, it is only going to be offered in the court. I know at first. Somebody asked, um, "Is it a high solid clear?" Yeah, it is a high solid clear. And it's then... it's the I mean I guess the best way to put it it's the most premium clear that I can get through uh, the particular company that I'm looking at right now. I got. I think I have five or six different options and for the price and for what it does and, and really um, it's going to be geared more towards people painting motorcycles rather than whole cars. Um, I'm going to be able to keep, keep the price down by in smaller quantities uh, for guys that are just looking to maybe just spray things here and there and don't need a whole gallon all the time. You know, that way you can get into like a, uh, a court you end up having like a quart and a half sprayable and it'd be more like $45 for a premium clear coat rather than for a premium clear coat, you're going to spend like around 180 or so for it, but you're also going to get a gallon uh, for that price. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've shopped for clear coat, so I'm not sure on the prices. So. And someone said, is it just multiple coats of clear that evens out ridges that build up? Yeah, you can, I mean, you can still use thin clear coat and build it up from that. I guess that we saying. Maybe I missed that question. You put it on the screen, I'll read it. Yes, it's a multiple, Sean, the answer to that question is yes. Um, the more coats you do, well, it'll it'll build up the edge, but then you need to wait for the clear to dry, and then you'll sand it down like 600 or 800 grit, and that will cut it down smooth. At that point, you would just re-clear. With this, that's what we're going to do on this as well. Once we do the graphics, um, we blend in the, the decal here uh, to make it look like it's one piece. Uh, it'll get clear-coated, uh, cut down, and then clear-coated again. 
to get rid of the edges, any edges that we have. If it's a paint edge on the tape, or if it's paint, or if it's the the graphic um, water slide edge here, which is not much. In fact, I bet the tape edge paint edge is more than what this has right here. It's really thin. Someone says, "Is that ringing sound the air leaving a sixty-gallon air tank, or do you have?" another tank in line um it, i don't think that's what you're hearing <laughs> is that what he's saying he's hearing something uh, go ahead and put that up there one again i was confused on that question <laughs> uh yeah i don't know what that is but you're hearing it's probably most likely my heater is cold as hell the furnace i think you're hearing but right now it's uh it's just the iwata studio that i have running the uh the airbrush right here okay that's looking good we're gonna go ahead and fade that in fade that in just a little more we'll keep the purple there and all right so we're gonna grab some white base coat and we're gonna blend in these edges Somebody asked if you could use Blender to build up rather than clear coat. Uh, I wouldn't. I, uh, the reason why I wouldn't, and I don't do it that way, is because you really can't sand it. And you're just adding more paint layers that are uncatalyzed. I think I feel like it's better just to clear coat it, come back the next day. Sand it down and then your edges are gone completely. All right, so I'm going to pour in some white base coat. All right, I'm just going to take this and hopefully, like I said, I haven't really done it on white. So I'm hoping these edges are going to hide. We'll, we'll see. see. I'll go back, back and hit that black, black again, again for now. now. Focus, focus on getting on this, this line blended in a little bit here. So he says, the guy that was asking about the ringing, he says he's hearing the Iwata compressor. So he says, can I use my 60-gallon compressor for the airbrush? Yes, you can. You just need a, um, <laughs> you just need an air regulator. Yeah, sorry about that. People are saying we're echoing. Is it? Is it still echoing? Yeah, I feel like um, 
you know, maybe my phone volume can be turned down a little bit. Huh. It is a little echoey, I think, because I can hear it through my phone. All right, I'm going to throw in some black base coat to take care of the overspray we have over here. Someone says, what kind of ink paper is that? Ink paper? It's a water slide. Um, it's white water slide decal paper. You can get it on Amazon just by looking up white water slide decal paper, or you can, uh, the Amazon link, I'll take you right to it down in the description. kind of building up layers here. I um, thinned out this black paint a little bit more to make sure that we had a nice smooth blend here. They're wondering how, lo how long you let the decal sit. Uh, I would let it sit until tomorrow, um, personally. To clear it but we're not going to we're going to go ahead and hit this with can the spray can clear coat right when we're done to see how it holds up but um because it really don't matter on this we can make the mistakes but i would if this was a customer's bike the chopper tank i'd probably wait till tomorrow when someone's asking if with the paint liners are we going to have different sizes uh it's just the i think it's just the 24 or the the 24 ounce we got right now we just got that one size, that standard size cup for right now, but that would be maybe something to look into. Write that down, Ashley. <laughs> Somebody said, do you prefer for white water slide paper or the clear? Um, I like this method that we're doing right here, which is the white. Take some white base coat here. Uh, maybe not that much. Or some black in there to make a gray. Ashley, we look. Um, I think there's that tiger stencil that's in there in that drawer. I'm gonna mix up some gray. This is uh, too light. I need something way darker. A little more black in there. What would happen if you cleared it with automotive paint now? That's what you'd want to clear it with is automotive paint. Uh, you, you, you'd probably be fine. You'd have to pull off your tape first. But uh, most likely you're going to be fine. Then someone said, have you ever used the suction cup airbrushes rather than the gravity feed? No. 
No, I'd always, if you're going to go with uh, airbrush, go with the gravity feed. Yeah, that's in my, that's my opinion, at least they're easier to clean. It's easier to switch over. Okay. So I'm going to use some of this dark gray that I mixed up. Somebody said, someone said, I had a difficult time getting lace to show up when shooting candy. I tried light spray, then heavy spray, but the pattern didn't really show up well. Any thoughts? Um, if you're using candy, maybe you need a darker candy. You don't have enough contrast between the colors. And sometimes you really have to saturate it pretty good. Let's see, I'm trying to find a good spot to... All right, I think I'll go with that. Hopefully this looks good. Let's check it out. Okay, I like that. We're going to need to clean up the overspray, which is fine. It's all black anyway, so we'll go ahead and spray that. You, we really could have saved the black for last and just did all of this, but I kind of wanted to get an idea of what everything was going to look like. Let's go ahead and blend something like that up here. Maybe not into his head because we do not want to make him like he has horns or anything like that. Let's... Just go right there and just add a few. Okay, that looks good though. I like that. Go ahead and clean out the gray out of that, and then we'll. Oh, the black. Oh no, we have enough here, I think. Oh. Right. That's looking good. I was thinking about maybe doing like um some uh what do you think? Some blood splatter right here. Yeah, yeah that'll look good. It kind of goes along with it, and we'll do it in some red pigment. Someone asked if we have a stencil of a rope with a knot. Nope. Uh, maybe it's downstairs. Let me check. Okay, I found it. Let's 
gonna use this as a mixing, little mixing jar. I'm gonna take some clear base coat. Don't need much. And then we got some red, red pigment, pigment here, lime line. Take the scooper. And once again, this is one scoop per one ounce. And then I'm going to reduce it. Whoa. <laughs> Give it a shake. we go probably should put a little purple with it to make it look more like blood huh we got purple over there even that bright purple will work if it's out there here we go going to give it a little splash of purple make it a little darker you can mix and match these pigments and powders uh, to get the color that you want there we go that's a little darker that'll work uh i think there's a a water stencil right there that'll look like a blood stencil it'll look like blood drops i think is it that one? Maybe not that one. There should be another one in there. Yeah, I think that's the one. You gonna paint an ear? A shoot up here? No, no, not on this one. His ear is gone. Okay. Uh, I think there's a better one in there than this one. Let me. Somebody wants to know where they can find that cool little shaker jar that you're using. Uh, you can get them on uh, Limeline website or on uh, Amazon. The link will be down in the description. You can just check it out. Uh, it's the Time Warp Custom Paints link. It's right down in the description. So check that out. You'll find it down there. All right, got the red loaded up. All right, usually I would tape this off. We're not going to do it because we're using black and I'm able to touch it up when we're done. Um, so, yeah, not gonna. we're not going to tape anything up here. I do like this stencil because of some of these, like that blood splatter looks like a drip right there. I think this can be used for anything. Let's go ahead and see what this is going to look like. Oh yeah, that'll look good. Let's see, do maybe this one right here. Whoa. Spread that out thick. That's okay. Blood splatter. 
Maybe do this one right here, peeking out of the corner. Oh yeah, that's good. Maybe that one and that one. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and go on this other side. Someone wants to know if all the stencils you use are from Limeline. Uh, this one right here is not. This one is um, Air Tool. Gerald Mendez, Air Tool. Someone said a boxing glove. Put a boxing glove? What is happening there? Oh, a little bit of overspray. No biggie. Yeah, if I had the time and the... Could do like the a boxing glove pattern. All kinds of stuff you can think of you can do with this, really. You could do like his tattoo, like... You know, I don't know. You can do tribal. We could have done a whole tribal thing that went along with his tattoo. With this. All right, that looks good. Okay, uh, unless we're gonna do something in here, Ash, I, don't, I think we're just about done. We're gonna pull the tape on this. What do you think? See what it looks like? Let's do it. All right, we could go, we could do even more detail. I could come in here with like a, a light red and we could um, put highlights on these blood spots to make them look like they're raised more 3D, but we're not gonna get into all that because it looks pretty good like this. So let's hope that we don't peel any of the, because uh, like I said, the clear coat that I used on this was fresh this morning. I was a little worried about it being a little early to tape on it, but um, we're going to hope for the best here. Someone said, we need a theme song for the pull tape. Yeah, I know. Huh? For the tape. We need like a, yeah, for sure. A go-to inspirational tape pulling song. Maybe some yoga music or something. Something more intense than yoga music. No, really? You yeah. need something intense? I don't know. Here we're gonna do two at a time. It's gonna be so good. Watch. That was fun. That was all worth it right there. All right, this is the one that's right next to that water slide, so I do not want to peel that up too much.
All right, that's it. I could uh, we could have done more. Maybe um, maybe tomorrow before I finish the full video, I'll do some kind of a pattern in here to kind of fill it in. Maybe a chain link, what kind of kind of like prison, you know? Because he is in prison, right? Yeah, yeah. Mike Tyson got in a lot of trouble. He shouldn't have been, but um, yeah, maybe some like uh, you know, bob wire or something, or maybe I'll just clear it like this. But uh, yeah. That turned out pretty good. What do y'all think? Let me know. Uh, give me some suggestions. You can, you be able to rewatch this um, on YouTube. It'll be recorded there. You'll be able to check it out so you can rewatch everything that we did here. But uh, let me know in the comments if there's something you want me to do or something you're wanting to see. I know a couple of people have been wanting to to see the leaf in the roll being done, and I'll go ahead and probably uh, do that um, sometime. Uh, during either next week or n the next live, I'll kind of show a little bit more about the, the rolled leaf here. But other than that, there it is. We're, we would clear coat this uh, with regular clear coat or can clear coat and um, sand it down 600 grit and then do it one more time. Fix up any, like we're probably going to have a couple of, you know, like right here, we'd probably come in and with a little bit more white and uh, get rid of that line there. And, but once that's flushed out with clear coat, we'd be able to, to address that problem because there is a little bit of a thickness difference there. So that's when uh, multiple clear sessions uh, come in really handy is clear coating it, sanding it down, uh, doing more. Uh, we, you, we could even just like do the extra graphics here on the next layer, clear it again, and then you're good to go with cut and buff. But I think that's it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I will see you, or we will see you next Thursday, right? Nothing going on? Okay. See you next Thursday.